in the building. All right. So first thing we want to do today, Ronald, is this, right? I want you to get your notepad out. For us, we always need to know what the daily is doing first. Uh, so we're going to pull up a daily chart, okay? Uh, hang on a second and I'll pull up that daily for you. So we'll take a look. And the reason why you want to know is you want to know what kind of market you're in, right? So I'm going to be going back and forth with my want to be going back and forth with uh, show you here. And we don't trade live until 136 mm -hmm. simply because we don't want to, we want to give the market a chance to kind of do what it's going to do. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Dr. Jones. Hey, yes, sir. What's going on? Just a little news here for the day at 10 a.m. We got new home sales, orange folder. New home sales, orange folder. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, what we want to do is. So this is the daily chart, right? So if you're looking at this daily chart, you notice that today we have a lower low and a lower high because this bar here, right? This bar right here, the high of this bar is lower than the high of this bar, right? And the low of this bar is lower than this bar. So we would anticipate potentially this thing is going to continue down. There's no guarantee that that's going to happen, but that's what the anticipation is. Okay. Um, and as we're looking, you know what I mean? So now we know that if we get a, a setup where we look and make money to the downside, it's a, it's a high probability of that being the case. All right. So that being said, now we know that. Now we can go to our regular trading. We got a lower low and a lower high. And what we want to do is we want to, you remember me drawing those horizontal lines before. <clears throat> what we want to do is put a, we don't even do that. What we do is just basically move. I move what I draw here. So if we get above that 1604 to we know that the market is going to turn it up, right? And then if it gets below, right here, right? That area. Then we know for a fact. So we got 15.931.75 and 15.16043.50. So we know that. So now we can move that out of the way. Now we can just get to the trading. And then look for our opportunities. When to be live with us here today. Uh, this is when this live, we they basically don't have anything. Now, so what I want you to understand in your journal, I want you to write this down. What you're going to need to know is what markets you're trading, right? You want to know what the volume is on average per day of that particular market, right? You want to know 
what kind of setup you're looking for. And I'll tell you now, 75% of our trade, okay, go ahead. No, 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 the volume. The volume. Yeah, no, the volume of the market. The market can trade. We don't have anything right now, Clinton, because that's a counter trend trade with no divergence. So we're going to just chill out for a minute and wait uh, for a trend within trend set up or wait for the four reasons to take a trade. Um, so you need to know the, the volume, mm -hmm. right? But you also need to, to know if you're like on the daily chart, whether or not you have a higher high and higher low or a lower low and a lower high, you need to know what the daily says. On the Write that down. You know what the daily is, whether or not you're dealing with a higher high, higher low, lower low, lower high. You know that. I want to clarify the charts we're looking at today. Um, are we uh, doing 2,700, 900, 300, and 150 volume yeah. charts? Correct. Perfect. And we're entering the trades uh, on the smallest time frame? Yeah, on the one foot. Okay. You said we had 10 o'clock home sales? Yes, 10 o'clock home sales, orange folder. All right. So, um, daily is going first. That was the first thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Right. Know the volume, what kind of volume you have on the market. The reason why that's important is so that you understand the volatility that market can have. Right. Because if you don't know the volatility, what you can do is you can get into a market that's too slow. Or you are likely or you can get into a market that's too fast. Uh so you need to be able to get into a market that is fits your personality. That makes sense. Um the next thing is what we want to do is we want to have a target goal. Like our goal for today is you're just training, but you know, you'll have the millionaire plan that I'm going to show you later and show you what your goals need to be in order to meet that particular, that particular thing. So you need to know what your goals are. But also something very, very important is you need to know what the news is so that you understand. And I'm talking kind of fast, so I'll slow down. Oh no, it's okay. Um you need to know what news is out for today, right? Quinn just told us that we have existing home sales at 10 o'clock, you say, Quentin? Uh, yes, sir. New home sales. So you got new home sales at 10 o'clock. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to trade around news. We want to give ourselves, my rule is to give myself five minutes before or five minutes after, meaning that I'll trade up to 9.55 if I have a setup. And I won't trade to 1005 after the leave. Right. That's to avoid um, any spikes that might happen in the market. So we we'll wait. Um and the, the other things that you need to know is okay, what's your what's your goal, right? You need to understand what's your risk tolerance, <clears throat> what the risk is per trade. You gotta know what the risk is per trade. Kind of like what we was talking about. Um ETJ, right? One of the things he talked about is you got to know what you're risking, right? So that way you don't put yourself in a in a bad situation. Um, the most powerful trade you can take in the way we trade is a trend within a trend trade. That's it. That's the most powerful trade known to man. A trend within a trend. A trend within a trend, right? Um, a trend within a trend trade has a high probability and it allows you to be able to get into trades with confidence. Right? Um, and there are basically four reasons to take a trade. Right? For my rules, right? Four reasons to take a trade are a high or low, a low or high. The diversion of higher high or divergent lower low. Now, I'll explain to you what those are. Divergent. 
higher, higher. Urgent higher, higher. Or a divergent lower low. Those four reasons to take a trade. All right. Now, um, once you know the four reasons to take a trade, the next thing you need to know is the sequence on which the trade happens. The sequence on which the trade happens is simple. It's momentum, trend, timing. Right? That's the because that's how you explain me. Right. Right. That's how I was explaining the charts. Right. Yeah. Exactly how I was how exactly how I was explaining the charts. Right. You had you got momentum, trend, and timing. Right. How you how you get into a trade. One of the things that you're going to have to do that's mandatory is you're going to have to know what you're trying to make of it, right? And when I say you're going to know what you're trying to make, you got to have a, a goal, right? You can't just come in here and say, I want to make as much money as I can, or I don't know how much you, you got to have a, a goal that you're trying to reach. Now, you might say, okay, cool, today's one really good. So I'm gonna take some take some extra opportunities. Or you might say the day is not going so good, so I'm gonna stop, you know, fall back because the thing is, everybody, there's nobody on the face of the planet that wakes up and they're happy, you know, every day. Like they, you know, they just feel like everything's gonna go great. Not there's nobody on the face of the planet that wakes up and feel like the world coming to an end every day. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to monitor and manage your own emotions and understand that you should only trade. When you're like this, right? If you're too high, up, high. Yeah. you don't need to be too high. You don't need to be too low. You need to stay. You need to just stay even, so that you can have a level head when you make these decisions. Because this is not play money on the line, right? You have to be able to understand why you're doing what you're doing. Like right now, we're not trading. The reason why we're not trading is because this thing is in the, essentially what Quinn like to call. What you call it, Quinn? Consolidating. Yeah, it's consolidating. Basically, so write this down. Consolidation is when the market is neither making high highs and it's not making lower lows. It's basically in a range. Right? It's not moving up or down. It's moving sideways. Uh, those kinds of things are extremely important to understand so that you don't take unnecessary losses. I'll say this so that Quentin also know, because he says this all the time, the only time we lose is when the market is what, Quentin? When it's divergent, or it's counter trend, no. I'm sorry. So yeah, you only gonna, when you're counter trend and when the market's consolidating, is the only time that you gonna really have a problem in the markets. As long as you're trading with the trend or trading in the trend, more than likely, you'll be fine. There is nobody on the face of the planet that wins on every trade. And there are several reasons for losing. So right this now. You lose because you're not focused on what you're doing, meaning that you're too high or you're too low, right? You lose because money the market is in consolidation you lose because you're going kind of trend to the market without really understanding that it's not a turning point you lose because you go counter trend to the market without realizing that it's not at a turning point right and you lose because you get into a situation where you're antsy, 
either you're too fearful or you're being too greedy. Right? We're not in here. This is not, we're not in here for entertainment. We're not in here for ego. We're not in here to prove anything to anybody. We're in here, you trade simply so that you can extract money from the markets, right? And as long as you understand that path and that parallel and everything else takes care of itself. Um, yeah. um, and all you do is, I like to say, you just, you just wait. A lot of this is waiting. Excuse me, Dr. Wait. Jones. Can you can you flush your uh 150 chart? It looks like um the moving averages are turning down. Yeah, you have. So let's let's talk about divergence, right? Divergence is when you have an indicator on your chart that's not doing the same thing as this, right? I'll give you a prime example right now. Prime example in this right now. The indicator is not doing the same thing as price. I want to show it to you. I want to give you an example of that, right? The example of that is this right here. You see the indicator? Mm -hmm. Didn't get lower. Price here went lower. See that? So that being said, right, there's a strong possibility that price is done moving in the direction that is going in a lot of in a lot of cases. So we just and this is the divergent lower low that I talked about. When I talk about it, you can trade from a divergent lower low. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for the fact that news is about to come out. We'd be looking for a trade mm -hmm. to go to the upside, right? And ladies and gentlemen, I didn't say, but we are trading what we call the, the NASDAQ futures markets. Uh, that's what we trade on a regular basis. So that's what we're sitting, just waiting on our opportunities. There hasn't been an opportunity for us as of yet. Uh, so we're sitting and we're waiting on that to happen. Um, in addition to that, man, I mean, if you wait on everything that you want to see, you have a high probability of making money. The hardest thing in this business to do is to be patient and then be aggressive. See, here's the secret to making a lot of money in the market. When you're wrong, Back. But when you're right, you can't be right enough. Like you can't have enough contracts or enough shares if you're right. If the market is, if you say, I think the market is going up mm -hmm. and you put on five shares, buy five shares, and then market pulls back and they continue to go up, go up. you put on another five shares, mm -hmm. market's still going up, pulls back a little bit and you see it's still going up, another five shares. Mm -hmm. Market's pulling back and it's still going up. Put on another five shares. So now you got a total of 20 shares, mm -hmm. right? And the market's continuing to go up. Well, the market goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up. And you put on five shares at a pop. And you keep doing that until it stops going up. And by the time it stops going up, you got 100 shares. Yeah, you'll start you start out with a hundred. Mm -hmm. Start out right. with five. You just kept adding and adding that. And remember when I told you the divergent the divergent lower low? Yeah. What what direction I told you it was going? Now. Uh, the, uh, when I told you that pr price was here, I said typically when price goes down, when you have divergent lower low right here, and if a lot of time then price goes up. Oh, okay. And it went up in this case, right? Mm -hmm. So now we just sit here. And we wait on our opportunity to see if it's going to 
give it to us, but it's still a consolidation, right? Because right now we still have price. It has not gotten above that line. And it hadn't gotten below this line. So as long as those lines are contained, then it's really not a reason to try to get into the markets, in my opinion. Because if you do, you're trading in what? You're trading in consolidation, right? So here we got. And we just we just sit and wait. Right? We just sit and wait. Right. I'm not doing anything to find myself in news. So now we just sit back and we just chill. Right. Um now. Where or the here on the indicator is not there. Right. So so you see how the indicator was higher here? Like this point, these the exact same two points. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh let me do this. Let me do this. these two points mm -hmm. but price right mm -hmm. is higher here so that's the low point right there yeah. and then price price is lower there mm -hmm. but the indicator here is higher mm -hmm. right so that being said, now all we do is just we literally just sit here and and wait for the market to do what we anticipated doing. And that's it. So what I want you to do now is I want you to ask me as many questions as you can so that uh, so to help you kind of solidify your understanding of what we talked about so far. It's called a NAS. It's the NASDAQ. It's the um, NASDAQ. It's, it's NASDAQ, like the NASDAQ futures. It's the NASDAQ. It's really the technology sector of the stock market. Right. It's the technology sector of the stock market. So, in general, that's what that is. In a, in a broad sense. NASDAQ. Foundation. Right. The first thing I did was to look and see where the market was. Right. And if I expand this chart, right, I can see, like when you look at this chart now, you can see this market is really not going anywhere. See what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Uh the market is really not going anywhere here. So because it's not going anywhere, we don't want to be a part of the situation and it's just basically moving. Now you see it's getting out of that range. You see that now? Mm -hmm. Getting out of the range, so now we want to bring it, bring everything back together here. Let's see, if, see if the market now continues to go up, or if yeah. oh, 
that they just went above that line. Right. What would so now that's out of right now is out of consolidation, correct, correct mundo, right? See, it's 10 o'clock. You see how the market's starting to move fast? Yeah. At, yeah. Because there's news coming out. And this is what I'm talking about. You want to be aware of that. Right? You want to be aware of news so that you don't get caught in a situation. Making news in the news. I wouldn't. Right? I mean, no. So the answer to that question is no in the sense of how we trade. Right? So uh Well, that's why I tell you to wait five minutes before, right? Five minutes before and five minutes after, right? You might miss a trade, but it's okay to miss because there's only one trade in four or five that you'll get in a day, right? Now, this trade did work, but it happened right at news, right? So it gave me an entry of 1475 with a stop of eight. And then it came down, and this is what I'm talking about. You see how fast this thing is moving? Yeah. So that's why I tell you, you want to wait. No, no, no. You can you have news all throughout the day on different days. Um, depends on what it is. You know, I could literally go through a whole slew of news, news items. You got or CPI, you got new jobs numbers, you got new new uh, home sales, you got uh, FOMC uh, minutes, you got the FOMC meeting. You got, I mean, there is a there are hundreds of news items that can come out during a given week, mm -hmm. and you just have to be aware of what's important and what's not. Mm -hmm. Right? We won't go through that right now, but there are what they call the yellow folders, orange folders, and red folders. Yellow folders are what you call basically something that really isn't important. Orange folders is something that can be can be considered important, and red folders are what is considered ultra important and will move the market. As a matter of fact, Quentin, let me ask you this: while we uh got you, what's the what's the home sales news? Was that a yellow, orange, or red folder? That was an orange folder. So new home sales was an orange folder. Okay. And uh, uh, and by the way, uh, Ron, we get that information uh, from 4X Factory, which is a very um, quick and easy way to identify without getting complicated or any details. Right. 4XFactory.com is where we go to see where the news is. In fact, just to let you know, there's nothing else after that for the rest of the day. Uh, for the U.S., uh, everything else is in uh, Great Britain. Uh, let's see. Uh, and other countries. So we, we that's is it, unless something breaks out. So make sure the pace works with well with you. Right. So let me tell you something, right? We the audience can't see my screen and see me at the same time. Mm -hmm. I am recording this so they'll see it later. But you see those numbers I have that 2700, 900 top right here. I'll flush it again. Give me a oh, second. Right. You see them right 900 mm -hmm. here, 300. Mm -hmm. That that number is based on the average volume of the market, mm -hmm. right? Over a 30 day period of time, based on the time frame differential that I use, which I won't, I can't get into that because that's very detailed, but I use a certain time frame. I use time charts to see where the big money might be moving. I use volume charts to trade. Okay. Um, and that's how I accomplish what we're trying to accomplish. Like today was a very good educational day. Mm -hmm. And today's going to be a very good ed educational day because I'm going to give you a slew of information 
in a very condensed amount of time to allow you to make informed decisions almost immediately, right? So our setup is to, again, look for momentum, trend, and timing. Um, and we don't do anything before or after that thing is actually happening. Sequence to get into a trade. I'll trade. Yeah, so a trend within a trend. Best way to explain this to show you. The trend technically on this chart here is up. We identify the trend based on our moving averages that we have here. Right now, when the moving averages on this chart align with moving averages on this chart, right? Yeah. That's a trend within a trend. So both charts, even though they're they're two different time frames, mm -hmm. are saying the exact same thing. And this chart here is the one that gives us the pause, meaning that remember when I told you the market is going up and then it'll pause. Yeah. That's when we get in. We get in when the market is going in a direction and then it pauses for a second and we anticipate that it's going to continue in that same direction. Does that make sense? All right. Hey, Dr. Jones, I just had someone say um, that they can't see you. They can hear, but they can't see your screen. Okay. Can't see the charts. Uh, they can't see. Okay, so I'll explain to everybody. You won't be able to see me and the charts, but what I am doing is I'm recording the session so that the charts will show a little bit later on today. Because I can't show both of them uh, at the exact same time. I am YouTube live so that you can see the dialogue of everything that we go through from a teaching and a showing standpoint. And then we'll gotcha. you'll see what's on the screen at a later time. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, so I, I just want everybody to know that because I, I basically have to be turning the camera to show you the television and turning to show me and uh, and at all that at the same time. So we're looking for an opportunity. We just haven't had one yet. However, one might be coming up when. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Um, are we focusing on a micro or a mini? Uh, the micro for, for right now, right now. So we have our, our momentum and our trend. We have our trend over here. Our overall trend is up right here. So since our overall trend is up, now we're looking for a pause in the market, All right? And we'll go uh, two contracts on that, on that mini, I mean, on a micro, excuse me. And we're waiting for Ladies and gentlemen, we may have an opportunity coming up here soon. We're just watching to see if this thing actually triggers. Um, and it hasn't triggered yet. I got two in the chamber waiting on your right. call or the, or the arrow. Right. All right, on green arrow, two. Gotcha. In at thirty four. All right. Woo, out. Out 23 points. 23 points. Cool. Simple as that. Ladies and gentlemen, we just took a trade live, made 23 points, which is equivalent to um, 23 times 20 would be $460 on the mini. Um, we're doing the micro as a test today. 
to make sure that everything is working correctly. Um, but you can see we just, you saw it just happen, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what we do every day. And if you wait on everything you want to see, it turns out just like that majority of the time. I'm not saying you win every time. I'm just saying majority of the time you put the trend in your favor when you do that, right? Mm -hmm. And the system actually told you. It, it was the system that told you to get into the trade, which it told you to get into the trade here. And I told Quinn to go ahead and get out of the trade. Yeah. Right there when the system told you to get out. Yeah. Oh. Right. Yeah, yeah. That happened real quick, right? So, it ladies and gentlemen. Close to uh, what the system did. We almost called it. Uh, if you look at the star, you almost did it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's almost the exact same thing, right? So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call it for today because the chances of us getting another trade before the hour was up is uh is slim to none uh, because usually there's about 30 minutes between each trade, 30 minutes to an hour and a half between each trade. So we're going to go ahead and call it for today. We appreciate you guys tuning in, and we will be here again tomorrow to do the exact same thing as we're here with Ron. This is the next man up, ladies and gentlemen. I've talked. Uh, many of people how to trade. And like I say, I say all the time, the 17-year-old man makes me so proud because he was young and kind of took your in everything I said. And we're going to make this young man here uh, a millionaire trader or a million dollars over the next probably year, year and a half. Uh, but stay tuned, right? Tune in with us every day. We're here every day from about 9.30 to 10, 10.30 every day. So uh, appreciate you coming in. Please subscribe. Please tell others. Um, please like the video. This will be this video will be up on uh, YouTube and by the end of the day, and uh, you have a chance to kind of see what we did live. And with that said, we're out. Have a good one. Yeah, have a good Thank one. You. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, man, I like that. What do you think? Queen, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, outstanding. It's, it's, we, we on go. We Elon must go. Huh? We Elon must go. That, <laughs> rocket, that rocket ain't coming back. It ain't doing nothing but going up. Hey, I'm going to tell you, that, that, was, that was perfect. Okay, so... With that happened so fast. Like, how did, how did you know? Because you said, okay, you said the system told you want to get in. Right. So, we're, okay, so we'll go back to that. All right. So, I told everybody live on TV, right? I said, hey, we about to have a, we about to have a trade. You heard me say that, mm -hmm. right? And I said, when on the arrow, go, go along. Would you just see that green arrow right there? Okay. I said, a green arrow, go along. You got into the trade, mm -hmm. right? Momentum is up. Yeah. This is momentum. Mm -hmm. This is trend. Mm -hmm. This is time. Okay. So it went up and it shot up. I like couldn't get out. Wait, 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 wait. I got out before it hit this arrow, right? I got it. I got out somewhere like up here. Okay. Because they were just moving so fast that I was like, all right, it can yeah. come down just as fast. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Yeah, you don't be too greedy. I mean, if it start moving, it's moving. Uh, and that's something that I'll teach you too. It's called capitulation volume. When something moves so fast in one direction, what you don't want to do is like, be greedy because just it, it, it's almost like it swing all the way this way. It'll it gotta go, it gotta go like right, right. Yeah. So, so yeah, if, if it shoot up, mm -hmm. get your money.
because that joker might do that which it did i mean you can see it just it went straight up let me, let me yeah. see yeah it went it's what we got in whoop, and then whoop. Yeah. so if you sitting up here trying to be greedy i'm not saying that you lost money because it it continued to try to go up here a little bit but yeah by that time it's, it's over so uh Quentin, can y'all hear me? Testing, testing. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, cool. Um, so, I mean, bruh. Yeah. That was quick, quick, huh? So, that's all, but that's all we do every day, man. That's it. We don't do, I, I don't deviate from that process. You said so. It is usually about thirty minutes to an hour. What time? Or thirty minutes to an hour and a half. half. Right. Between by the time you get the next trade set up that is nice, it's gonna be about that time. Sometimes it's quicker than that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times it's about that. Right. And once you get that trade, honestly, you should be done for the day. Once you get your trade, you should be like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. No matter. Because that's how you are able to be in a good mind state, right? Yeah. And you're like, well, you know, it's like, I got mine for the day. I'm out of here. Like, we made 12 points on that trade, 11.5 points on that trade, Quentin? No, that was 23 points on that trade. 23 points on the trade. And they were per contract, it was 11 and a half. Yeah, can you hear me now? I can hear you perfectly. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I had to go on mute for a second. I'm going to go on mute for a second. Okay. Okay, so let me. That's it. So now what you gonna do is I don't. I'm gonna put it on scene, and we gonna get you to practice hitting the button. Right. I don't care about the trades and then like that. This is just about you hitting the button. All right. Um, I'm trying to think of which way. When you have a you know, Quinzo, Quinzo, Quinzo. I got some the drinking there besides water. If you want to in there, in there. Hey. Yeah, you know I mean? mm -hmm. feed you. Yeah. I, I might not be able to cook like you and your dad. Oh, all right. So, uh, so, so, um, all right. Like we ain't gonna have nothing for a while. So the only trade you want to focus on to start out with mm -hmm. is a trend within a trend trade. That's not gonna be the only trade that works. But that's gonna be the that's gonna be the easiest trade that works. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Um and you wanna focus on the easiest trade. You don't want to focus on trying to get every single one of them. You want to focus on the one that's going to win. Right in the hand high probability of it. Is that what they call it? Yeah, they are. Yeah. They are. They are. They are. 